this is a secret camp this is the case of one hey, once of all let me thank each and everyone who helped me to get 14,000 subscribers thank you so much and please if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe just click on the bell button so that anytime I post a video you'll be the first person to see the video I know that a lot of people have subscribe but they haven't clicked on the bell button you can click on the bell button for more, more videos okay and if you're a newcomer here don't forget to subscribe you know your subscription help me to do more videos and also those uh who don't comment just comment on the comment section share your idea about uh what is going on and let's see we have a lot of people who also want to travel just leave your comment on oh, the comment section below so that you can also maybe find someone who also want to travel and who knows you guys can team up and you guys can share idea together and travel together that's how it is so this is a secret camp this is a secret camp and people goes people are staying here people comes here just to stay for a while until the border patrol comes in there to pick them up but the thing is they have messed up the whole land they have messed up the whole place look at that and this is the life of immigrants everywhere they go they they they, they mess up everywhere when you go to uh panama forest when you go to colombia forest they have messed up the whole forest the whole forest is dirty empty and you know messy but that's not how it is that's not how it's supposed to be and that's the main reason why everywhere that immigrants goes no one want to accept them but we have also people who have a good heart from all over the world and they're also trying everything possible to help an immigrants you know some of them they just go into the United States without having anyone and you know you, you don't have anyone in the United States, you don't have anyone that can uh, grant you of stay. And they cannot leave you also on street, and they can, you can't also stay in the detention center for a long time. So an NG, NGO will come and pick you up, and then when the NGO comes to pick you up, the only thing is they will leave you on the street. And that is what is happening. When you go to the United States, a lot of people are living on street. A lot of people are living on street. So all these people, NGO will come for them, and the NGO will leave them on the street. Because there, at the NGO, you can only stay there sometimes a week, sometimes two weeks, sometimes a month. And you have to leave for other people to come in. Because there is not a permanent stay. It's just a temporary. The NGO will come in for them. They will come and help you out to live at detention center. And from there, you have to find your way out. You have to go and rent your house, get some uh, job to do, and you know, get yourself settled. They are not going to settle down with it for you. You see, you have a huge number of people. Huge number of people. You know, when the bus come, they call ladies first. Then they call people with children. Then you call the married. The, 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 the couples so when you are a single and you are behind you are the last people to go so this is this is this is what happens when you go to the United States and it happens each and every single day this is what is happening every single day people are in there traveling people are tra go to the jungle the number of people that are in the jungle that they are traveling they are moving to come to this place is unbelievable it's uncountable you can't you, you can't imagine you can't imagine people are dying over there in the jungle people are dying people are being stuck over there people are even they even want just water to drink before they will die just watch my previous video you will see all that and this is what is happening it's so sad that you can't help, you can't do anything about it, but it's happening, life. 
So when you see me here today, it's not that I haven't, it's like people think that I haven't traveled before. I have traveled to many countries. I have been traveled to this jungle uh, three times. I have gone to United States one time. I, when you come to uh, uh, Mexico, I've been Mexico countless times, many times in Mexico. So I know everywhere and I know what I'm talking about and I know what is happening at the ground. It's very sad, but it's happening. It's, this is early in the morning, very cold, and this is what is going on. This is what is happening. This is what our brothers and sisters are going through. <coughs> what can we do? There's nothing that we can do. When you tell them not to go, uh, or for them to take the right place, they will think that they don't want you, you don't want them to travel. But it is what it is. This is what is going on. So guys, let's go. Yeah, this is Takito One. I'm an uh, investigator. I came in here to uh, document also what is going on, you know, how the immigrant they enter into the United States and you know what what are the process that they go through before they will get to into the uh, United States. So that's the main reason why I came in here just to get to you know the process and how the immigrants and the route that they pass through to get in here because I've seen numerous number of immigrants here, and you know it's so uh, it's so it's so it's so so serious. I don't know where they are coming from, and where this night and they came they came at night. You know I have a Jeff here. Jeff, where are these people coming from? Uh, they came from down around the base of the mountain where the wall ends. That's where they're always coming from, and that's the, where the problem is. Jeff, is that where the tents are, or they just allow them in? Mexican National Guard or Army. Um, I don't think it's National Army. They're basically the only people, ones uncorrupted in Mexico right now. National Guard is, but that's what I've heard from people who live in Mexico. So whoever's over there must be letting them through because they're either on the dole or they're taking money like on individual basis. But uh, it's absolutely they're coming through with this. Jeff, and they came in one massive came in group. One like massive this. group. Well, a couple stragglers, but most of them came in one group. And um, so the Fox News guy actually came by and honked his horn at me because I'm camped out here to just alert me. And so I came out and uh, sure enough, it was just like the other night when, uh, you know, probably the same amount of people were here. Uh, more from China and the Middle East, I think. This one had a lot of people from Turkey. Um, a lot of people, actually. So and I got some good interviews with them. And uh, so, yep, there's there was a lull today and we didn't know why. And you were here. We went out up on the mountain, like searching and stuff. And uh, this is apparently the lull is over. Jeff, how many do you have? 200 probably, a bit, 180, 200, I think. Um... Hello, Jeff, there's still a large group here. I don't know going to be picked up by the bus yeah, or, 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 or there's probably, you know, 15, 20. I think it's the people who they... So, there are still a large group here and all these people need to be sent or transported to uh, detention center. The bus is already full, and you know, they are still the number of people here is still more than 100 people. And all these people need to be sent to the detention center. So, the new bus is supposed to come around, and you know, just a few times, you know, there's all these people will be sent to the street of the United States. You know, nowadays, you know, uh, it's like they are speeding up their process so that. A lot of people don't choke up at the testing center because COVID is not yet gone. You know, when you go to detention centers, COVID is all over. Yeah, so they try to speed uh, the process so that people don't be too much gathered in there. So, folks, this is what is happening. And a lot of number of people that are, that are entering to the United States is abnormal. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I posted a video, the number of people that are in the Panama jungle that they are on their way to the United States, man, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I have never and ever seen such number, such such huge number of people like this going to the United States. This is the first time. You see, the, this is one night. This is five o'clock. And you look at the number of people here all the way to the United States. You know, this is they're already in the land of the United States. You know, they call it the land of opportunities. Others call it the land of heaven. So, they're already there. 
and you know, uh, it's 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 massive people, massive people that they are, they are This is you know, I don't know how how they do it. It's like they go in group or they have uh, a place. Of, this is this is massive, huge number of people. Look at that. Look at that. I can't think far. And all these people are on their way to the United States. Man, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, share, click on the bell button. More videos from the jungle, the Panama jungle is coming. Whether the Panama jungle is closed or not, more videos are coming. Those uh, that have been deported, uh, Colombians and you know, Venezuelans are started, they have started deporting them back to their home country. Or the details are coming. Uh, I've already done one video about it on the on, on my channel. That's my uh, my last video that I posted, you can go and check it out and see. Guys, I don't want to talk much. Thank you so much. We just hit 14,000 subscribers. And I know that we can hit uh, uh, 15,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers very soon. And I'm counting on you guys. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys at the other end of the video. Adios.